This large elephant is struggling inside a finely constructed granite well, which looks quite deep. This well is used to fetch water for drinking purposes and is in a backyard of a village house. He has come into this land at night with his herd looking for food. On his return, he has accidentally fallen into this well. The owner of the well had gotten shocked when he came in the morning to fetch water and saw a humongous elephant struggling inside the well. He has immediately contacted the wildlife office and the relevant security forces. The news broke out in the neighborhood too and people flocked around within minutes. The wildlife officers and veterinarians arrive and inspect the situation of the elephant. He is not stuck inside but is floating in the water. It is not practical to break the well to haul out the elephant, so the officers immediately start filling the well with water using a motorized pump, as it will help the animal float up and step outside of the well. This is the law of buoyancy in action. The villagers do not have any idea about this rescue method, and they are getting closer to the well to see the state of the animal. Before the officials arrived here, the villagers have given banana stem to the elephant to eat, that is what is floating on the water. The muddy water makes it evident that the elephant would have struggled a lot in pain and distress throughout the night. The results of implementing Archimedes' law are turning out to be positive. The elephant has almost reached the top. He must be quite tired by now after struggling for so many hours. However, the observers are still doubtful about the whole thing and they fear the way the animal might react once it is out of the well. Even then, people just want to help the elephant and their only wish is to see him out of danger. True, there is human-elephant conflict, but there also seems to be a big soft spot for these gigantic creatures in the hearts of man. The elephant can now reach the well cap with its trunk. He sniffs around and then pulls in a sandbag that is within his reach. The officers advise the people around to move away as the elephant is still aggressive and is expected to come out of the well at any moment. Despite his struggles, he fails to lift his heavy body up and come out of the water as it is impossible to get a grip on the water to lift a body out of it. The elephant barely has a leg in his trunk out. Its foot pad is damaged and the nails have broken off. His trunk too is badly damaged in its upper part. He is still not able to come out of the well on his own. The villagers tie ropes to nearby trees and tie the other end to a tire and throw it at the elephant so that he can get a grip on it and come out. Unfortunately, it doesn't work as they planned. The animal does not show any interest in trying it out. He probably doesn't want to take a chance on using his injured trunk.
Since this too is not working, the officers decide to bring in a JCB machine to support the elephant to come out. To make it easier, they also decide to break a small part of the well cap to make an inclined path for the animal. Here's a look at the injured trunk. It's badly damaged in the upper part, cutting off one side completely. Once this rescue mission is over, the officers will have to attend to treating this tragic injury before it gets infected. The JCB machine comes in and gives the elephant a push from behind, so he can climb out of the well without straining his injured trunk. The elephant looks exhausted and doesn't react to the pushing, so an officer pulls the rope he is holding on to with his trunk. Still, there is no reaction. Another officer tries to tap the elephant with a stick to see if he would react to that, but nothing works. However, after a while, the elephant gets up suddenly and charges at the JCB machine. He tries to attack it out of aggression. To control this situation, wildlife officers use firecrackers so the elephant will stop attacking and move away. If not, he could even charge at people and attack them. This animal must be feeling hungry and uncomfortable too, so the officers let him go into the forest for now. However, they do intend to keep an eye on this animal and locate him to treat his trunk and the other injuries.